Yeah, Danielle, good morning to you. As almost as soon as those names were made public came the fallout over the publication of that list. 50 men listed here with credible accusations. Now the attention really turning to where the church will go from here. That list includes the name of clergy and other church leadership. It comes after months of internal investigation. These cases dating back to 1950. 19 of the people named are still living and the church says by releasing these names they hope to express transparency and encourage accountability within the church. The published list does not include how many victims each person originally had, but when the abuse or when the abuse took place. But critics are saying this list leaves a lot of questions. Many of these survivors have lived with this for so long, this trauma, this shame, this silence, and maybe, maybe today they came to some recognition of what happened. There have been survivors who have identified some, you know, some of those perpetrators today that were, were listed, but the diocese never took any responsibility or admitted that there was any wrongdoing. So Late last night, Governor Raimondo signed the bill into law that would extend the statute of limitations from seven years to 35 years for certain lawsuits. This would allow people to sue the perpetrator and in some cases the institution, which would apply to the church in these cases. That's the latest here live in Providence. Brendan Truitt, Eyewitness News.